Greetings, true believers. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another pop review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Pop Werewolf by Night number 1274. Ted, also known as Man Thing, made by Funko. Take a look at the packaging. You can see it's just a usual Funko Pop box, but you can see the window exposed in the pop. And you get the usual Werewolf by Night style. And also, you get the deluxe box here the six inch box on the side you get the full image of the pop on the back there's other pops from the werewolf by night line so that's about it let's take out man thing out of the box here is man thing out of the box so let's take a closer look at the pop here take a look at the head scope here i would admit that they really are not too bad of a job with this this head sculpt looks exactly like how he is in the um the film werewolf by night Hopefully we can see Ted in the uh, in the future MCU stuff. Yeah, because I really like this particular character when I first saw Werewolf by Night. So yeah, it looks really good. Not too bad of the head sculpt. Yeah. Well, there's nothing much all over the body here. Well, there's some there's some leaves and everything. I believe they're leaves and flowers. I don't know. Could be flowers. Well. Well, Man Thing does does originally appear in the swamp, kind of like Swamp Thing, even though the Spite Swamp Thing came out after Man Thing. So yeah, and right here, there's a little gem right there, the little gemstone that is stuck on him, which I really wish is removable. That would be really cool, cause you know, like in that movie, he took it took it off. They the uh, Jack took it off, and then he's free. Until later, he appears again, you know, devouring the main villain of that film. So, yeah, you can see there's some sharp claws right there. Luckily, if you touch his hands, he, you, you don't feel disintegrate. Well, obviously, this is basically a toy, obviously. Yeah. I mean, it'd be really cool. There's, like, another version of, of Ted where he's holding, I mean, like, his victims and disintegrate. So, yeah. Nothing much on the lower legs, just swampy stuff. And take a look at the feet there. You can see some toenails there. And you can see some of the toes, some skeleton some skeleton toes there. And on the bottom there is a single legally with a legalese right there. So that's about it. Overall for the, the pop itself, it looks pretty cool. And yes, this is a bobblehead, so yeah. And I'm very happy to have this guy in my collection. I'm really a big fan of, of Man-Thing right now after Werewolf by Night. So yeah, this this guy looks really cool. And I, and this isn't the first time that Funko made a Man-Thing pop. The first one was the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, but I didn't get that one because, well, at that time, I don't know who Man-Thing is. So yeah. But on this pop from the Werewolf by Night, it looks pretty cool. I would say that they really did a fantastic job with this pop. Yeah. Maybe hopefully in the future Hasbro decided to release some Werewolf by Night figures. Probably in color like like uh, um, the Werewolf and maybe a Deluxe of Ted, also known as Man-Thing. But I'm just going to be okay with a Funko Pop. And I'm very happy to have this guy in my collection. And I do definitely recommend getting this pop if you're a big man thing, thing character, then this pop is for you. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe to if if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and Threads. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the pop Marvel. Werewolf by Night, number 1,274. Ted, also known as Man-Thing, made by Funko. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next spooky toy review for 31 horror toys in 31 days.